So this morning we woke up to some bad news. Um, Fawn was just laying down and she has, I think like a bloated stomach with a lot of fluid. Yeah, she can't get up and right now. And she can't really get up. I did look, at, look it up online real quick just to see yeah. what it was, like fluid and in the abdomen. And just on Google it says it's an accumulation of fluid in the abdomen. It's called ascites, ascites, acetites. And it could be heart failure, liver disease, kidney problems, or severe we're, we're intestinal disease. So I don't know oh what God. it is. She is very old. She's over 12. How old you? Um, How old you? So yeah, that's a huge concern. Uh, I'm gonna take her to the hospital right now and we'll see what happens, but she can't really move on her own oh, and I have to pick her up. Baby. We're funny. Oh, I'm baby. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's trying to get up, but I think her stomach and the fact that she's old, her hind legs won't support it. Get up. Yeah. And I don't know how to help it's her. Papa is ugly. Yeah, this ugly. You're ugly? Yeah. Yes. They're funny. They're funny, Taika. Okay, I love you. I want what's the lobster. Okay, pet fun with the lobster. Say funny, I love you. No. Taika, say funny, I love, so I love you. Say funny, I love you. Funny, I love you. Thank you. Funny needs all the positive energy oh, she can God, get. Oh, my baby. Okay. I'll take her to the hospital. So I'm actually quite scared because of um, because of Fani's age. This could be the last time that we see her. Um, I've had so many old dogs, like from Tyson who was 15 to Meat Loaf who was 10. So when they start deteriorating, it happens really fast. It's even like that with humans, like. Gio's grandma, my grandpa, once they got checked into the hospital for something really bad, it was like two to four weeks and, you know, they're gone. So, um, I'm uh, kind of worried that it might be Fawn's last days. I hope, though, that it's just, you know, some like fluid that could be easily drained and is not caused by some other system like her intestines or kidneys or whatever. So hopefully, fingers crossed. So I'm at the animal hospital right here. It's such a tough time because I'm so used to just bringing the dog in, but because it is Corona times, they have to see if there's any slots because everything is by appointment only. But thank goodness they could squeeze her in this morning. I also have to film JK News this morning. So I did tell uh, Ryan and ask him if he could uh, sit in for a couple of videos for me because I'll probably be late but first things first you know gotta take care of my poor little Fani oh. you know she's not feeling good because usually when she sees other dogs she gets really excited and she's not even that excited we put her bed in here just so she could ride a little bit more comfortably since she can't really stand up and there's like these chucks have these weird ridges so at least she looks comfy poor girl and shout outs to west foothill animal hospital for being able to squeeze her in because if not now geo actually has interviews uh for new gym staff at barba brigade so she's not only not going to be at JK News, but there's already like two hours worth of appointments. So she can't take her either. And then she would just have to stay at home um, if these guys can take her. So thank goodness that these guys can take her. So at least she can get care early in the morning um, before like we get off work. Poor fun. So at the vet's town. Um, super sad news. They checked her gums, and since it's really pale like that and not pink, they're saying that she has um really low blood, a uh, red blood cell count, which the doctor thinks that that means there's a ton of internal bleeding. She could have had an internal tumor and it ruptured. And so the two main options are one, have an X-ray, see what's really going on. But given her age and her red blood cell count, after they uh, put her at, under anesthesia. They don't even think she can survive a surgery. The second option is putting her down with uh, euthanasia and just having her go peacefully. 
because he was saying just with her vitals and like listening to her heart, her lungs and seeing the condition of this, of how big this is, and then her like red blood cell count, that they're saying that she probably just passed away like in a day or three days anyways. So, um, just have to make the hard decision of, uh, of putting her down. But she lived a really good life over to the result. Yeah, we'll get her little paw print thing done and get her ashes cremated and and uh, make a little like a memorial thing with all of our other CUNY guys. That'd be funny. How funny. So this is where they would put the euthanasia in. And this is going to be the last time we see Big Cuny finally. This has always been Ma Bear's favorite part of her, her Cuny little tail. Does it look like that of like a fox or like a coyote? It's uh, three German Shepherds that we've had that were all old and lived with us for a while. So Fawn's been with us for maybe eight to 10 years. I've had Tyson for 15 years. Meat Love was shorter, maybe like four or five, just cause the shelter we got him at, I think light on the age. So we thought we were getting like a two year old, but we got an eight year old. I love you, Kenny. Isn't life crazy? So Gio couldn't come cause she had to stay at home with Taika so I brought Fawn um, by myself and then when the doctor hit us with the news I called Gio on the phone and we made the decision together and so now our house doesn't have a puppy but that's fine because I know Fawn is in a much better place she's not going through pain or anything like that this cute little guy Probably doesn't even know anything that's happening. He knows, he, as soon as grandma came, he was like, I'm like, wait, cause I just don't like giving people bad news. So I have to go, as soon as they arrive somewhere. Yeah. So he was already like, he saw our car, he goes, fun, fun's in the hospital. He kept Aww. saying that and I'm like, wait, don't tell grandma yet. Tell her she needs to tell her good morning and that she need help. And he goes, good morning, do you need help? Fun's in the hospital. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, so he knows that she's not doing well. Big and he was very concerned. I know, he bit Kenny. He was like, oh, funny stomach hurts. Stomach hurts. Yeah. At least we all said I love you to her this morning, which is pretty cuny. My poor baby. Yeah.